When people think of sex and gender, it's black and white. Drag is a way to show the gray areas because it's not black and white. It's never been black and white. The root of a lot of violence and bullying and stuff like that is not about sexual orientation. It's about gender identity or gender expression. So I can have a different gender identity from my physical sex and that has nothing to do with who I want to have sex with? What? I'm a teacher by day and a drag king by night. I'd go to the Roy Renegades shows. I thought it was awesome, but I said, there's no way in hell I would ever do that. I would never glue hair on my face. All of a sudden, some of the people who voted against gay people having the same rights as straight people in the state are saying, well, why can't Julie have any time to stay home with your family when you had a baby? They have that feeling of like, whoa, I would never want you to not be able to be with your son. I know that my parents saw a very different picture for me. I think they wanted me to go into politics and be a lawyer. They also saw me getting married, having kids. I plan on having a white picket fence, and I plan on having children, but I plan on doing it with another man. Oh, no, we have, I mean, the only time we have sex is when it's in drag. No. <laughs> Do not use that, that is so not true. That will never happen, ever. I have to sit down and ask my bro, like, how to be a guy, like, how to walk a guy. I'm a trans guy, I'm doing theater, this isn't drag for me. I don't think being a man is bad, I don't think being a woman is bad. I just happen to be really in the middle. A drag show in Ohio? I didn't even know there were 400 lesbians in Ohio. It's okay to be who you are, I mean that's what it's about. Like, not being afraid to be who you are. I don't have to be a man, I don't have to be a woman, I just have to be me.